Welcome back to my channel. In the last episode we talked about how to print the SUXR and today we want to assemble the jet. For this we take our 3D printed parts, uh, finish them. Uh, I want to show you the tools that I used for bringing this part in a really good condition to put them all together that everything fits perfectly and we got a result like this. So let me start with the tools I'm using to remove all the support from the parts. They don't look like this when they come from the printer because it's necessary that some walls that are free in the air has to be supported. That's quite normal for 3D printing. Also the stringing we got on the lightweight PLA. This is caused by the foaming process. The foaming process can't be stopped so there is stringing. We can't avoid it like on other materials like normal PLA or PETG or something like this. There uh, you can avoid it by retract. Um, here we can also use retract but we can't avoid it completely so there will always be some strings that has to be removed. Okay, let's start here with the pliers. I got several forms and sizes of pliers that I'm using, especially these longer ones. With these longer ones you can grab really deep into the part and get out the support. This really helps. Make sure that your pliers are all rounded. Here are no sharp edges or sharp corners with which you could damage the whole part. Really important because you know there's really one outer layer and this is foam PLA. Be careful with it. That's why all your tools has to be saved and I especially rounded all the corners that um, there will be no injuries on the part itself. Next are these very sharp knives. These uh, short ones are very important when you want to cut small parts here and especially this um, spike on the top helps a lot of situations. Maybe here when you want to remove the support in the magnet housing then I'm using this. And this normal cutting knife with a very long and sharp blade I'm using for instance on the outside. I can go along here and can easily remove the strings. Also for, for round surfaces it's really easy to, to work with it and you don't have to grind the surface especially on the outside. This really works nice. Other important parts are my sandpaper files. They are self-built. For this I'm using for instance this wood stick or also you can use um, some carbon stripes or glass fiber stripes and then put on this double side tape and on top you put your sandpaper. I'm using 80 grit and 120 grit. This works really well and I'm using this to get into the part here on the rear wing. You can get into and remove all the rest of the support that you become a clear and really nice looking surface. Everywhere which you can't easily reach with your, with your fingers when you take your sandpaper by hand. I'm using this, the sandpaper files and some of them are really stiff and some of them are flexible. This always depends on the part where you're using this. So I would recommend them um, build yourself a set like this that you have every special for every special situations. Also these grinding blocks. This is made by, by plywood. Here's plywood one centimeter thick also covered with double side tape and then the sandpaper. And this is used if you want to make surfaces smooth. Especially this ones where you put all the fuselage sections together. They have to be smooth on the bonding area that they fit perfectly with a minimum gap. That's for this I'm using this. And then let's go to our super glue. For bonding I'm using super glue in three different variants from thin to medium to thick. And for applying the super glue I'm also using these dosing tops. They put on the original top and safen them with some shrink tube. And so it's very easy to put 
the super glue exactly where you want to have it. This really helps. And for accelerating the bonding process, I'm using this accelerator. Yeah, this really works well. And you don't have this white flavor on the surface when you use this spray accelerator. The spray accelerator also is a bit aggressive with this material and weaken it for some moments. So I would really recommend you using this. Yeah, this is uh, more easy to supply, more exactly to supply. And for applying itself, I'm using this brushes, several sizes of brushes. This depends on your uh, bonding area. When you have, for instance, a big bonding area, I would use this big brush and for smaller areas than the smaller one. I'm also using this electric rotation grinder. This is rotating. This is 75 millimeter in diameter and I'm using also from 120 to 100 to 80 grit sandpaper for grinding down the surfaces for instance here on the wing where I want to have a very smooth surface with this the work is much easier this is no must but if you want to have a really nice surface very aerodynamically this machine really helps especially if you think to paint your jet Afterwards, I would recommend to grind the surface down that you do not have these um, printed surface with these little walls. Now let's talk about a very special tool. This is this, this electric drill with a brass tube, which is customized on the top, where I do some cut-ins and also along here, that it works a bit like a long drill. And this is needed to remove the support in the connector holes. This is here a fuselage section for the main connector, the 8mm main connector and you can go easily in there and while rotating and these little sieves are removing the support. It's very easy to make this free. The support will be in here and you can press it out and then you go so long in there till all the support is removed and this comes out here. This I got in several sizes. This is used for the fuselage and also for the wing to make this free. This is for 8 mm and 6 mm and everywhere where you got uh, long and deep holes where the support has to be removed. Okay, that's it for the materials and tools. And now I would say, let's start with the work.
So this was the first part of the assembly of the SUXR. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If yes, then give a thumb up. And if you want to support this channel, you find the links underneath. You can become my Patreon, buy me a coffee or donate on PayPal or <laughs> buy our products, the STLs for this jet. I wish you a perfect week and we see us soon in the next video. Bye bye.